And new details in a story we've been following. More people coming forward accusing a local gynecologist of fertility fraud, claiming he inseminated women with his own sperm instead of using sperm from an anonymous donor. We've been talking to alleged victims who say they've gone their whole life living a lie. And they could have more than a dozen half-siblings. Eric Hedekos has the story. Chris Minch of Fairport was reviewing results from a 23andMe DNA test when he noticed the screen showing him multiple half-siblings. He thought the system was broken until he reached out and all were sharing the same response. They recently learned their biological father is Dr. Morris Wartman through the DNA testing. That doctor is a practicing gynecologist here in Rochester. I had like a panic attack that was like so severe. It changes nothing and everything at the same time. That's kind of what I tell people. Minch says his mother was under the impression she'd be receiving an anonymous donor from Dr. Wartman. All of his half siblings say the same thing. The mother didn't know, and neither did they for most of their life. We reached out to Dr. Wortman's office multiple times and haven't heard back. If my dad was alive, this would be really hard for him. This is Minch with the father he grew up with, who passed away in 2014. But now, puzzle pieces to half of his identity feel scattered. Not only do I not know the medical history of my doctor, it's there, there's so many siblings out there that are going to be going through the same thing. And Kara Rubenstein runs Right to Know, an organization advocating for people like Minch and victims in similar cases. She says it should be a fundamental right to know your human identity. But in the U.S., there aren't many laws protecting this idea. The bills that we have in the um, in the New York legislature right now, they make it a sex crime for a doctor to use his own sperm. And then they create a civil cause of action for the offspring, the patient, as well as the spouse. Bills also call to revoke licensure if this scenario is proven. The only concern, Rubenstein says, legislation moves slowly and she wants to see action now. The thing I would ask him really is why. That's it. I would just want to know why. Time heals everything and to some, some degree. Like, I think within 6 to 12 months, it won't be the first thing I think about in the morning. Reporting, Eric Hedda Cost, News 8. Thank you, Eric Hedda. One of Minch's half-siblings is suing Dr. Wartman for medical malpractice. The woman says she actually saw Dr. Wartman as a patient before learning he was her father. More on this can be found on our website, rochesterfirst.com.